Won't you take me to Spoopy Town? <laughs> Spoopy Town. <laughs> Hello! So yes, it is the best time of the year, folks. Halloween! And basically my goal in life is to be that crazy neighbor that has way too many Halloween decorations. And I'd like to think I'm on my way. And the only part of me that regrets it is my wallet. <laughs> I'm Jack the Pumpkin King. I sound just like a so I guess starting off with the obvious. <laughs> my little Jack Skellington bow tie. Which is a little floppy and a little lopsided. Got this baby at Walmart. Is it cheaply made? Absolutely. It's basically just some felt with a little strap and some crappy fabric paint. Could I have done this myself? Yes, probably. And I thought about it, but this was only $3, so pretty much what it would cost me to make it anyways, so. I rocked too hard. So next up is this little guy, which, uh, if you can't tell, is a skull on top of some books. I got this guy at Michael's, which if you don't have Michael's, it is a craft store. It always has the best Halloween decorations. They usually have a whole shelf of it, and it is all my aesthetic. But yeah, I just thought that he was very spoopy and cute. Next up, I have some little bird friends. One thing you may not know about me is that I have a huge affinity for crows and ravens. There is just something about them that is comforting to me, which is weird because they're whatever, the omen of death. They get a bad rep, all right? This is Halloween, this is Halloween. So we got the little bigger guy, and I just thought that his little face was really well done. I believe that I got him at Michael's as well. And then this little fun man, bird. He is from Target, and he's adorable. Next up, I got at Barnes & Noble in their Harry Potter section. This is not specifically Harry Potter, but they put it there because they knew that I would buy it and it is a quill and ink. And I'm very excited, although who packages it with blue ink? But that's okay, because I do have some black ink, so you're off the hook. I have wanted an actual quill for a very long time. I plan to write some letters with it. It's nice and weighted down here, which might go without saying if you're an expert on quills, but I am not, so it's very satisfying to me to hold it. I am like particularly weird today. I don't, I'm not even weird in like a funny way. I'm just. Next up, also came from Michael's. And it is this little collection of keys. I was actually surprised with how legit these feel. They are actual metal, they are very heavy, which is kind of cool because it makes me feel like. I can't think of the word for a person that looks over a graveyard. Grave digger? <laughs> Grave digger, I guess. I don't know. Groundskeeper, I guess, would be the other word. Regardless, these make me feel like the grave digger in Haunted Mansion or something like that. I just love the sound that they make. Very spoopy on the spoopy scale. Next up, I actually got at Comic-Con, which was in August, so you know I was starting early. And it is these two amazing Disney pins. One has Mickey and Minnie riding on a little bicycle, and they're wearing little fall clothes, and I just thought that it was so cute. And the other one is Zero, who does not love Disney pins and using them as brooches. You know what? Thanks. Yes, I am very excited about these because I am going to Disney in less than a week now. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween. The handsomest to walk in the world. <laughs> this is Halloween. He's so handsome. 
Cool. Next up, just about the cutest things in the entire world. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? He has three bow ties. And then there's this little man who is also quite dapper with his bow tie. And you can just go. Next up from Target. Ew. Hold on. Fall banner. In case you couldn't tell. I thought it would go really well with this little garland that I also picked up from Target. These were both in the little quick Halloween dollar section, which is a blessing to us all. And next from Target is this amazing cloche. I think that's how they're pronounced. And if they're not, I'm sure you'll let me know. <laughs> so I plan to do a little dried flower terrarium type thing in here. Cute, because it has a little bat on top. <sighs> next up, Nick actually picked up at Target and it is this little doorbell. <laughs> Next up are these kind of gross looking candles. <laughs> kind of look like fangas. These are also from Target and they're called bleeding candles. So I'm assuming they are red wax with a flesh colored wax on the outside so that when you burn them, they drip blood, which is really, really freaking cool. I do, I do, I do. Next up is this little lantern that I got at Walmart and I love it. So it reminds me of that lantern in Sleepy Hollow that projects onto that poor redhead family's walls. <laughs> Next up. These were actually sent to me by an amazing girl on Instagram, Maisie Draper. They're so cute. He's like, oh, yo, Halloween, all right? And this one's like, oh, yeah. I told you I'm extra weird today. Help, it's the Halloween spirit has possessed me. Anyways, thank you for these, Maisie. I love them. Next up is this little um, pumpkin cauldron that I picked up at Lowe's, which if you don't have Lowe's, it's a home improvement store. So I was surprised to see that they had so many amazing Halloween decorations. Next up, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. I don't remember where he's from, so I'm sorry. I think he's from either Walmart, Target, or Michaels. I like that his little mandible opens not sure if this is um, biologically correct. Chances are it's probably not because these decorations are always not anatomically correct. But I don't care because they're so cute. Next up, also from Walmart, I saw him and I needed to have him because he is so regal. They even kind of match. Next up, this is also from Walmart, this little banner. Just freaking adorable. I have a bigger version of this that was from Lowe's and is now hanging on my door. Next up, I actually got from my local thrift store, Savers. And it is this stunning candelabra. I just fell in love with this instantly. And it is really, really quality. It's really nice and heavy. And the details on it are to die for. So Halloween or not, I am so excited I picked this up because I've been looking for something like this for a very long time. So thank you for coming into my life. I will put candles inside you. This is also from Savers. Just like a little cheap lantern. And when I mean cheap, I mean cheap. It weighs about 0. 0.4 ounces. <laughs> Next up is this, <laughs> which was sent to me by another lovely lady and it was designed after Winifred Sanderson's necklace in Hocus Pocus. So beautiful, and it was made with love, and I love it so very much. Next up, also from Target, is this table runner. Tempted to use it all year long. Table runner, my butt. Ooh. Next up, I got from Savers again, and it is just a cheapo little cape. Because although it's for Halloween costumes, it's pretty much exactly my colors, and I love it. 
I am determined to bring back capes into my everyday wardrobe because honestly, I don't really know why they went out of style in the first place. Next up, these amazing pillows that I got from Target and Spirit of Halloween. Luigi one is from Spirit of Halloween and the Nevermore pillow is from Target's little $1 section, which I told you was amazing. Right after I filmed this, I went out and got this from Michael's. Also tempted to keep this up year long. I think I will. One thing that I forgot to show and mention is this amazing welcome mat from Target. He's just so excited for Halloween. Next up is my friend here. This is Hermie, and he hails from the magical land of Lowe's. And I've wanted a life-size skeleton for a while. And here he is. Thank you. People, let me tell you about my best friend. I hope that everyone driving by looks in my window and sees this. So that is it, guys. I told you it was a lot of stuff. But I love you guys so very much, whether you're new or old to this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Nailed it. Good job. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. Oh, my armpits are hairy. Oh, shit. Shit, my armpits are all right, sorry, I had to shave my armpits. If you lose the moment, you may lose the lot. So why not? Next up is this. No. Nope, okay, your head does not turn. Nah. <laughs> All right, I can stop. Why am I so weird? <sighs> now I have to put all this stuff away. Hello darkness, my old friend.